Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. Anytime you produce a webinar that's got PowerPoint video and a talking head video, it's nice to present them in the same video frame. Here's how you accomplish that in Telestream Wirecast. So I've got three inputs that I want to include in this final presentation that we're going to copy uh, the one that's shown here on the left. I've got the PowerPoint slides, which is coming in from a, a MacBook Pro that's running on the same network as the computer I'm using to create this presentation and stream this presentation. It's coming to this computer, uh, which is an HP Z400, via the Telstream desktop presenter module, which basically lets any Mac or Windows computer on the same network as the encoding station um, input the screen or any portion of the screen into Wirecast. So it's a great way to add PowerPoint. It's a great way to do a software presentation. Uh, and that's how I've got this in here. The video coming in here is via a Viewcast uh, Osprey A20e capture card that's capturing uh, HDMI video and audio input from a, a Panasonic AVC HD camcorder. So this shot has two visual elements, three total elements. So it's the PowerPoint, the video, and, the, and obviously the audio. And all that's included here. Let's see how I built that. I click here to add a new shot, and we can call this anything we'd like. Let's call it Webinar Composition, and double click it to load it into the editor. Now, you see a bunch of templates here, and the easiest thing to do, obviously, is to choose a template that closely matches your desired output. That's the side-by-side -side video here. And here are the two placeholders for the two visual components. A is where I want to put the PowerPoint, so I click A, click over to the video inputs, and choose the Apple MacBook Pro input. And to configure the effects, I can click and drag them anywhere I'd like, and press the Alt key, Option key on the Mac, to resize it by dragging. So I want to make sure I don't obscure the footers down here and just takes a couple minutes to make sure you've got all the content showing. Now anything in the checkerboard here and up here and down here is just going to show as black. So it's not critical that you absolutely eliminate every every square millimeter of the checkerboard pattern. Now I do the same thing for the video. I come back over here and say yes this is the video that I want to use and in this case I want to both crop and resize. So this is a 16 by 9 720p video. I click here to crop on the left and maybe crop a little bit more, crop on the right and drag it to the desired location. Also need to resize it a bit so I'll hold the Alt key, drag inward and there's my presentation. So again, it's not totally critical that I eliminate all these square boxes. That'll show up as, um, as black. If I, if I had it, I would put a, perhaps an advertisement here, perhaps some branding here. You know, you're pretty flexible in terms of uh, what you include in the video. Now, to add the audio, I just click the plus sign and then tell Telestream that I want to include this HDMI audio in with these other two components. And then I'm done. Let me just make sure this is, yeah, that looks a little bit better. And now it's done. So this is the new composition we just created. To take that live, I click it, I press the go button, and now we're live. So I think this layout is very effective for showing both PowerPoint slides and a talking head video, and now you know how to produce it in Telestream Wirecast. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching.